Afghanistan's leadership received what some might say was the red carpet treatment in Washington. The U.S. administration agreed to seek funding to support Afghan security forces at their current strength through 2017 and to provide $800 million for development once Afghanistan completes specific reforms. But it was President Barack Obama's decision to maintain current U.S. troop levels in Afghanistan for the rest of 2015 that received the most praise by analysts. Maria Sultan is the Director General of Islamabad-based South Asian Strategic Stability Institute. She says reducing the American forces by half, as Mr. Obama originally planned, would have indicated withdrawing support from Afghanistan. Whenever you have the absence of total military force, uh, that essentially means you have the absence of a commitment to that country's peace and security. Whether we like it or we don't like it, that's the reality of how things are perceived on ground. On the other hand, some analysts were skeptical about the announcement that U.S. economic assistance will increasingly go through Afghan institutions. Ahmed Wali Massoud is an Afghan politician and the brother of slain Afghan military commander Ahmed Shah Massoud. He says past international aid was squandered by the same institution with their massive corruption. It means that the structure of the system was as such that in itself that really created corruption. So that is why that we should have a political system, uh, we should have an executive system, so that can have a, uh, chicken balances, so that will really uh, stop the corruption in Afghanistan. Ordinary Afghans seem to have welcomed the support their leaders received in the U.S., but many fear that without a political settlement with the Taliban, the support may not be enough. Aisha Tanzim, VOA News, Islamabad.